few days ago, Microsoft's Cortana app for Android leaked out ahead of release, giving the public access to the Virtual Assistant application. However, the leaked version seems to be in an early build, so there will be obvious differences between this and the Windows Phone build. But since we have the leaked data at our grubby little hands, let's go hands-on to see how well it performs and compares. Now, the two devices that I have here are the Nokia Lumia Icon, running the Windows 10 Mobile Insider Preview, and the Amazon Fire Phone, which is running Fire OS version 4.6.1. Though I should note that this OS is essentially running a modified version of Android, so you can still get the same applications. Okay, so if you've never heard of or used Cortana, it's essentially your own personal assistant. You can ask questions, look up weather, and set alarms for you. But until now, it's only been available on Windows devices such as phones in the Windows 10 Insider Preview for PCs. Windows Phone users already familiar with Cortana know that you can easily activate Cortana by saying the simple phrase of, Hey Cortana! In the Android version, this feature is missing entirely. So you have to open it up manually to be able to get access to the app's basic functions. And I mean basic! Unfortunately, you can't send any messages to your contacts with your voice like you can in the Windows version. You have to type it out as if you're typing on the messaging application itself. This will likely be added before launch, but I wish it was there so I could better compare the accuracy and response times. That being said, once you're in the application, you can tell Cortana what you want to search with your voice. Conversational search doesn't work as well as in the Windows Phone, but if you need to know an answer to a relatively simple question like the weather or nearby restaurants, Cortana will quickly respond. If you're not in a talkative mood, the app has you covered. You can still type out inquiries just like the Windows Phone version. As of right now, the early build for Android performs well even though it has a few shortcomings, which will likely be fixed in the near future. I definitely give this application a shot if you're interested in branching away from Google Now or the likes of Siri, but I'd hold judgment for the full application when it releases in July. So what are your thoughts? Are you going to download the preview? Let us know in the comments below.